All right, let me just use a few minutes here and, and get a different take from Ken Cuccinelli than what I laid out. First, Ken, thank you, and sorry for the um, difficulties. Um, the way I read the Supreme yeah, Court case yeah. is, of course, Texas has jurisdiction uh, over its border and what it does on the state level. Uh, but that FBI right. officials or any federal official should be able to cut wires that are obstructing their ability to do their job. If that's all this is about, where's the problem? Yeah, so the first of all, there's a question about whether the Border Patrol is cutting the wire to protect the border or to let people invade, to enter. Mm -hmm. And that's a dispute. That's one dispute. But, but let me touch on the, the authority for Texas. So, mm -hmm. you know, the Supremacy Clause, Article 6, gives the federal government typically authority above state authority. And that's true, mm -hmm. but Texas isn't using state authority. They're operating out of Article 1, Section 10, which allows states that are being invaded without federal permission or approval to repel those invasions themselves. And that's what, that's what uh, Abbott has been talking about lately, forcefully. Uh, he is not actually doing it, Chris. He, they're putting up a lot of mm -hmm. concertina wire and walls and so forth. What they're not doing is putting people back into Mexico and that constitutional authority allows Texas to do that. Until they do that, they will not slow down the flow. Nonetheless, you saw 25 governors today in the last couple of days uh, rally to support Governor Abbott in what he is right. doing on the border, which is using state right. authorities, like you mentioned, like criminal trespass and other things. But those right. don't stop the flow. Until people don't believe don't have... they'll get in over your border, they'll keep coming. Right. I don't have any problem uh, with that. It doesn't matter if I do. The law is the law. But I don't understand if Abbott doesn't want this to be just a political play. Why not do both? That unless you can establish that the reason federal authorities yeah. are cutting the concertina wire is to allow easy access, because they made the opposite case, right? They said, no, 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 we're only cutting it so that we can go and apprehend people and do what we need to do with them. We're not doing it. So... Factually, <laughs> the, court didn't, the court didn't, didn't find that them. the federal government was wrong about that. Well, the Supreme Court, the majority, didn't issue an opinion. They simply right. vacated the, the lower court order that was only for the duration of the case that blocked right. the Border Patrol from cutting Texas's wire. Supreme right. Court allowed that to continue if Border Patrol chooses, but they didn't issue an opinion. The only opinion was the dissent of four justices that opposed that position. Right, so but that doesn't rule. When I don't so you're see saying an opinion they have to go in a situation to like level? this? Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's exactly okay. right. And in All fact, right. so look, with the Center for Renewing America, you introduced me. We right. put an amicus brief in this week in that very case. It is likely to be decided in the latter half of February or beginning of March. OK, uh, we'll keep an eye on it. But look, uh, that takes me to my second question for you. I don't blame any of these states for sure. wanting to do something when the federal authorities aren't doing what they right. need to be doing. And why not blaming CBP? OK, they right. don't have the man, woman power. They don't have the right rules. They don't have the right processing things. So they cut a deal at the Senate right. that by all accounts that I have is, is was everybody happy about it? No, but they were happy enough to move it to the House and try to get a reconciliation on it and then to preserve it for the election as a problem instead of doing something to make it better. That is like a new level of well, low in so, our politics. So, so Chris, you you. You, you and I agree on that point. If, that, if they're tanking the bill be, for, a, for an election play, look, their job is to keep America safe and make it better than yeah. it is today, right? To continually right. improve. That's their job. It isn't to tee up elections and all the rest. So you and I agree 100 percent on that. I do not agree with you that just because some people from the opposite sides of the aisle agreed on a bill that was going to essentially legalize 5,000 people coming in a day, give them work permits, uh, raise the green cards. Essentially, it makes all of the reasons that people are attracted to break the law allowable. It, it would have just created, believe it or not, even higher numbers for inflows uh, illegally but Republican into the United States. Republican senators didn't it was believe a, that. It was a bad basis for a bill.
Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.